Okay, here's a quick video on what we've done uh, with the cover so far. The uh, panels are uh, 60 inches wide, so that's a lot of yardage. You need to get enough to go past your boat two times, plus leave extra for your seams or for your side coverage and then seams on top of that where we cut six inches for to seams. So we, uh, first thing we did is we seamed down the middle, two panels together. Then we came and draped it on the boat and this fabric was designed, was bought for another boat that's shorter, 13 footer. But Skipper uh, knew she could stretch it. So we ended up cutting excess from what we, from what we trimmed off below and finished up the little panel on the front. If you buy it plenty long, seven, eight, I'm doing math in public, probably 16 plus yards of yards of umbrella or whatever fabric you want. Should get you in the ballpark for what you need without having to piece together like we did here just to save some money. So once you get it draped over the side, the first thing we did was we came along where this first, where this first strake is. And we just went down the side with a little chalk pencil, marked the strake. And that's where we want our drawstring to go. This cover shrunk a little bit, but we want our drawstring to be running right about in there. And then Skipper knows that so if we want to make that, that pocket that's going to go here, we've got to put a little seam in the bottom so this raw edge doesn't unravel. And then we've got to fold it all up again. To the line, thereabouts. So that's underneath. And then we're gonna come along and sew another two rows of stitching here. So we'll have a so we'll have a pocket there that the drawstring can go through. Which is what you see right here. This is a pocket with a, with a drawstring. There's the cord right there. So we just uh, measured all along the bottom straight, bottom straight, and then came back, laid it on the ground. You folded it in half along this long seam, laid it on the ground, then took our tape measure and made little tick marks along here. And then she cut, 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 cut all the way around. And that way she's cutting both pieces at the same time. So they come out uh, symmetrical. So in the back, we marked uh, where the corners of the boat are. You can pull it tight. Also, remember we have another. We've got another cover under here, so it's it's making a little bit thicker than. So we'll we'll take that off before we do the final fitting on this. So we marked the corners. Pull the panel back. Marked it there. Pull the panel there. Marked it there. Marked those seams. So she'll come in and do some type of dart. We might pull it around and dart it, or we might just pull it right to the corner, flip it inside out, trim it. The dart uh, saves us a little bit extra fabric. And then you can see on the back here where we're coming along, along the bottom strake. Then we, on the lugger here, we tuck it under this bottom corner where the drawstring goes in that way. It's been uh, to the west coast, the Gulf Coast, get ready to go to the Atlantic coast, and it hasn't gone anywhere yet. We did put some reinforcing panels underneath. I think on this next boat, what we're gonna do is probably just lay a towel across it and then put, put the cover on, save ourselves a lot of sewing to put in these extra, this extra panel underneath. I think we use some fake leather or something. Same thing over the uh, the chalk back here. We'll just 
we'll just throw a little hand towel or some kind of padding underneath that instead of doing all that extra sewing. So we've got the cover, we've got it trimmed with enough room for the pocket. I don't know what's going on here. I think oh, we just need, oh, it's just not pulled down. It's like, wow, that's not enough fabric, but I've got to pull it tight and then we'll have our, you can see where the strake is and there's our six inches below it. So as far as pulling it tight, that'll be another thing you've got to come up onto. We put uh, these tie downs about every four feet or so and just sewed them directly into the seam for the pocket. Here in the United States of America, we put the, the part that we actually tie, since we drive on the right side of the road, we put it further off the shoulder. So if we got to pull over and fiddle with anything, this is the good side of the boat for us to be on and all the traffic's gonna be over here on this side of the going screaming down the highway so you folks over in the U of K then you might want to swap around your tie downs and uh, put them put them on this side I guess so over here we've got let's see we've got one two three one amidships four close to the axle five and then a six, six tie down that kind of goes under the transom. And then the drawstring all comes together here at the back. And we take it and snug it down. And then we just, we tie it up to those eye bolts in the transom. And that should work. What we're gonna do next is um, I think we're going to put that, see if we get this raw edge here, we're going to turn it under and run a stitch to keep that from unraveling. And then we'll flip it under again to make the little, uh, be about a two and a half inch pocket or so for the drawstring. Up on the bow here, we had all this extra fabric coming out. We just took and marked it and pinched it together, flipped it inside out, put in a single stitch, and that left uh, the, the extra fabric that had been in here that got inverted back into there. So we gotta keep that in there for uh, extra padding. And that's what that stitch is here to stitch this extra fabric that's up in there. I don't know if I can get to it, but the... there it is right there, see that? There's a couple extra layers of fabric are up in there and they'll stay there just to reinforcement for the bow. This is the first shape here. Skipper's plan is to come in and round this off a little bit. She'll do her seamstress magic. She's letting me do most of the stitching. That's why some of it goes here and some of it goes there. But uh, that's how you learn. So. I think we'll push this back into the garage and we'll be working on it again, get some rest, working on it again a little bit more tomorrow, maybe this evening if I feel like it.